Expo, like who I said has actually won two Pokken tournaments. Okay! Tournaments. Uh, and Justin Nolan, who's just now wrecked. Now, once again, we're seeing a matchup of Pikachu the Red. And Pikachu. Which, it, it seems to be a popular choice. It's like uh, when Diddy was really strong in Smash Bros, everyone played Diddy. But now it's Pikachu versus Pikachu. Just one wearing slightly more clothes than the other. Yeah, no, that's about it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, Donald Duck versus Donald Duck getting out of the shower, I guess, pretty much. Uh, like, uh, uh, there was a thing in Friends. Look, why does he uh, wear a towel? He doesn't wear pants. I try oh, well. not to question it, to be honest. That's Disney for you. Speaking of Disney, not speaking of Disney, Pokemon. Uh, how have they not buffed them yet? But it, <laughs> they're both have their burst meters right now. Lero and Justin are both fierce competitors, and their Pikachu—they both know how to handle that. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is really interesting to see because they, they are similar Pokemon. They have similar movements, but very different uh, approach types. Their attacks are, are different enough so like you can still clearly see the difference if he's actually doing the damage. Yeah. No, you can definitely see that. And we were talking about how quick Libre is, but I and I don't know the stats, so I don't know how many to it, but I wouldn't be shocked if Pikachu is a little bit quicker uh, in his movements. You know, that's something that would be really interesting to find out. Yeah. That or... That sounded so sad there at the Pika! My dreams, no. Why you do this to me? So, yeah, we're going on to another round here now, or, yeah, another round. Um, Nero and Justin, once again, fierce competitors in Losers Round 3. Uh, I'm trying to calculate in my head. I think it'd be Losers... Either the winner from this goes on against the winner of winners, or Losers Round 4 does. I don't know. I don't have the numbers in front of me. You haven't seen the, the tournament bracket yet. No, I probably should look that up. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like a responsible thing to do. Wait, I don't... That wouldn't be posted anyway. I don't have it. Never mind. Cool. <laughs> so, this is... This is, uh... I don't know. I, I really like seeing Pokemon Pikachu versus Pikachu because it's a fast match. It's... I mean, it's not a Garchomp versus a Pikachu, which would be really cool to see, You're like a Land Shark versus an Electric Mouse, but that, 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 that's all, that's all. I agree, and right now, actually, I just thought of, uh, we only have a screen right now to actually commentate on what's happening. We don't actually have one to see um, the chat that is up right now, so and if you are happen to be on watching us right now on my phone, I'm trying to get one up so that... Jeff can see what you Jeff and I see what you're up to. So if you're on, send us a message right now on the in the chat box. We'll have a chat with you. We'll and again, Lero and Justin, super close. Um, Lero combo. has that chance to make that comeback. Neither of them have their burst effect, so this is gonna be your. Oh. And that's it. I was gonna say there's Lero 50 seconds left in the match. It could be like a stall at the end, but that last hit got oh. through. I don't. Have my sound on. That was weird. Alright, All right, I gotta fix. We're gonna do this thing real fast. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Jeffrey. No Jeffrey problem. is our resident tech guy. In fact, that's his title. Director of Multimedia and Technology. Resident tech guy. Tech guy. Resident tech guy. That's my, uh, that's my new game series. It's about zombies. Cool, resident I like tech it. Guy. Cool. Wesker, I'm tired of you tangling up these cords. I assume that's just what you get mad about. Yeah. But that's it. It's yeah. a game about being upset at tangled cords. Yeah, but like, well, actually, you could probably make a game out of that. Like, you have to untangle them, but like, there's like, like obstacles in the way. Oh God. They make games out of anything now. It's true. Any game can be a game. Yeah. So Jeff got the chat working. So if you're on, say hi to us. We'll say hi back or. Tell you you're cool or whatever. Uh, let us know who you're going for right now in the tournament. If you've been watching it right now, like I said, Lero and Justin, very good players. Justin right now, however, is at a very large advantage. I, I'm really interested by the fact that we're seeing a lot of Pikachu versus Mushem. And got to say, I mean, it's a heavy hitter, but it, it looks like Pikachu still has the advantage in this fight. Yes. Ooh, yeah. And that was that was perfect. And like we were talking about earlier, there's that risk of changing your character. Yeah, you might think you might switch it up, but after having played a character so much, particularly if you're not proficient in the other characters you're playing, you have that risk of well getting bodied. Yeah, to be honest, just uh, it's one of those things where like you might feel comfortable playing against a couple of casual friends, but in a tournament setting, 
a character might not be the, the, the best choice, even if it's strong against the, the enemy. Yeah. If, if you can't have a strong control, it might not be worth it. Now, with that being said, we just said all that, and uh, this whole match, much half has actually been bodying Pikachu, and later off, he's taken the commentary at all. I was like, what do you say? I assume that's what he did. What he said. Here comes the break. And let's see if either of them can get it off here. Whoa. Machap is a champ. 37 Brutal. HP left to Justin. And we're going to see how this goes. And the block, that block there, made all the difference. Oh. And is this going to be it? Oh my god, That's he landed it. it. That's First it. Attack. He was so close to getting that perfect to save right back at you. Didn't pull it off, but excellent is more than enough. Ooh, that hurt to look uh, at. All those words that we just said, we have to eat them now about that switching it up and being uh well it's all about judging yourself because the first match it was very one-sided but yeah. then again the next match and it maybe on maybe that's all it takes to get used to that character switch well there's something to be said for being unpredictable too if your enemy gets used to you then yeah. you know it might be worth switching up just to catch them off guard absolutely if you're that far behind right there was a beautiful example pikachu trying to keep much at bay in field phase but as soon as it went to duel Machap just gets the upper ground. That was it. Yeah, no, Machap took, hit him with one fist, and that was it. They were at 420 HP, steadily dropping. Yeah, no, it's it's a close match. Again, both of these competitors clearly uh, play this game Ooh. a little bit, at least. <laughs> Probably a lot. They're both very well, good. I wouldn't want to face either of them. Considering one has his own token controller, I would assume he plays. <laughs> no, no, no. He just, he just puts that on the shelf. Oh, yes. and like, here it comes. Oh, is that Ooh. it? Nice combo to end off that life. So that's it. Lero just... Ooh. I mean...